Good morning. This is Dr. Hilkrishnan again. Today's topic of discussion is how to harness your pain or suffering for good. We all have suffered physically or emotionally at least one time in our life. Some continue to suffer due to illness, finances, or relationships, etc. Now you might ask me how to harness pain and suffering for the benefit. We all see pain as all negative. But there is another side to the pain and suffering, a positive side. Let's hear from one of the greatest poets of all time. Khalil Gibran said, out of the suffering have emerged the strongest souls. The most massive characters are seared with scars. I repeat, out of suffering have emerged the strongest souls. The most massive characters are seared with scars. You might ask me, how do adversity make a strong souls? It's like our immune system. Every time we are exposed to some pathogens, our immune system is getting stronger and stronger. Now let's have a real world examples. I'm gonna bring American presidents. Any historian you ask to rank the American presidents, they always have FDR, and Abraham Lincoln in the top three presidents. Let's see how they become an example in this. FDR was an ambitious young man until he was hit with the polio. When the polio attacked him, he couldn't walk. He tried to walk again and again, failed. Tried again, failed. For 10 years, he tried to walk and he couldn't. That molded his character. His biographer, Gene Smith said, FDR lifted himself from its wheelchair to lift this nation from its knees. I repeat, FDR lifted himself from his wheelchair to lift this nation from its knees. That man was completely molded by character by adversity. The next great example for real life is 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln suffered with severe depression for his entire life. You might ask me, how does that mold him in his life? How did it help him to be a great president? Well, modern research shows that people with severe depression are realistic in their expectations. Lincoln went from failure to failure in his life and also while waging the Civil War. And it kept go, make, make him go with realistic expectations. Next time you face pain or suffering, physically or emotionally, ask the question, how is this molding my character through humility, willpower, or persistence? Now, while you take the time to think about how pain and suffering is molding your character and what you can learn from it, please do the three S's. Share this video with your friends, subscribe to this video, and state what you want to hear from me below in the video. Thank you very much and see you next week.